So let's do something a little different today. Let's take a look at a vehicle that in its prime was considered the bane of everyone's existence. I wasn't kidding. If you played this vehicle about, what, four-ish years ago when ATGMs first became a thing, this vehicle spearheaded it in almost its entirety and... Uh, you know what? I'm a little bit too excited. Instead, let's just let's get right to the gameplay, yeah? There we go. Let's let's enjoy this. Let's take it out because why the hell not? <laughs> okay, I'll be honest. This was supposed to be a good joke, and I thought, you know what? Let's let's surprise the audience a little bit. Let's be a part of the hangar rather than I guess just kind of sitting there talking about it, right? But unfortunately, I can't give much context, but yeah, this was a five-minute job by a good friend of mine, so Spartan, well done, buddy. <laughs> but this, dude, if you really want to check this out, uh, let me know. I'll try to get you guys a description uh, or link uh, in the description if you guys want to go ahead and download this and check it out because this is uh, this is pretty cool. There's a lot of missing asset behind it, but I'm digging it, and I can also kill these guys too. Okay, I, I could kill these guys, but uh, there's that. But anyways, let's get back to the hangar, shall we? All right, so right back to the hangar we go for the IT-1, but there's one piece of information I was incorrect about at the very beginning, which is how old this vehicle was. That number didn't seem right to me, so I double-checked it, and I'm just looking right here, and it says this vehicle came out in update 1.59 back in June of 2016. That's right, the IT-1 is six years old, and I remember the days of how War Thunder was back then, this vehicle was the absolute bane of everyone's existence. You couldn't shoot down missiles. There was no soft kill APS. This thing in a hold down position was unstoppable and everything would die because composite armor didn't really exist at the time. And it was an indicator for the T-62 coming into the game. Yes, this is, I think, before a time uh, where Sabos didn't really exist in War Thunder and heat rounds, I think, were still relatively new and they were the high-end things until missiles came into the game. And we thought, oh boy, 500 millimeters of penetration. That's so good, right? Now, 500 isn't going to get you very far at all against ERA, composite armors, and especially active protection systems, which I think this does get stopped by it. I, I can't really remember if it does or doesn't. But at 8.3, there aren't too many vehicles that have it. Maybe the Brunus, but come on, who really plays that thing anymore? <laughs> Just not to be too mean about it, but who really plays it? But let's go into details about this vehicle. Now, as you already know, it came out back in 1.59. It's a fairly old vehicle. This is a custom user-made skin. I'll have the link down to it in the description if you guys want to go ahead and check this out. It does carry, I think, not the most, but carries a ton of missiles, 50 of these i think what are these called the 3m7s i think this is the only tank that fires these types of missiles 10 second auto loading mechanism which means that this thing is pretty damn quick and the optics are right below ish the missile so this thing can hold down incredibly well and you have good gun depression which is not really existent in uh, in war thunder especially for the russians excuse me minus nine degrees plus 17 which is good against low-flying helicopters aircraft etc it is a stabilized gun platform, and you can fire this on the move, right? Not even the Rakan Yak Panch can do that. All those vehicles, IEVs, you have to stop to fire the damn thing. Not this at all, but in typical Russian fashion, it's not good in reverse. So shooting and scooting, not the greatest, but when you're already in a hold down position, it doesn't really matter too much, right? The armor is what you would expect from a T-62, 100 millimeter upper front plate. The turret is 200 millimeters. It's not gonna stop Sabo. It's not gonna stop heat rounds. It will bounce a lot of APCBC if we get lucky and run into them. Also, you do get a night vision device. And how old this vehicle is, you'd think I would have it spaded, right? It was never really a big thing for me. But since we're here, that missile, it's the only one you get. So you start off with this from the start to the very finish or the very end, you get the 3M7, which as you can see here, will do a good job. But keep in mind, I believe this can be stopped by APS, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, it does take a little bit to reload and that's honestly really it. Also good gunner sights for the most part too, if you take a look at that, uh, four to eight times, which is really good. So yeah, that's honestly really it. But for a BR 8.3 vehicle, 
this might be a little interesting. So with that being said, let's take this bad boy out in some actual games and see, is it still worth playing in 2022? Let's find out. Now this is a good start. We made it past the little gauntlet. I tried to knock someone out, but it didn't work out because I forgot this thing loses its stabilizer at around 45 kph. So keep that in mind when you're driving this thing. You can't fire on the move, but only if you go so fast. I think I know exactly where to go. Oh, there he is. Eh, that's not the guy we're looking for, but guess what, buddy? I'm the better missile carrier. In truth, I'm not. This missile's better, but at least this thing gets 15 of them, and they're quick loading too. Oh, we got to our cheeky spot, and there's another warrior. Wait, was that the? Is that the same guy? I, I'm dude. Hold up, I need, I need to check this. Uh, it was. I just took out his backup, dude. I am terribly sorry. I know that pain, but yes, if you didn't know, this is a really cheeky spot, especially for this type of vehicle. You know, I'll be honest, this spot used to be a uh, a little bit better, but... Oh, another little unfortunate soul. Oh, no. And boop. <laughs> a Vickers Mark III. All British tanks today, huh? Who are we fighting? Oh, it's a big game, too. Nice. Yeah, sorry if it's uh, a little quiet here, guys. This is, again, this vehicle, you can't be necessarily aggressive with it or unnecessarily aggressive because you're a missile carrier. APS does exist down here, as does, uh, well, ERA, composites, etc. So, yeah. Yeah, but I'm not a fan of just sticking in one place. Hey, hey, hold up. Hold up. Okay, this is where things are going to get a little bit tricky, because if I screw this up, 8.5 kilometers in reverse ain't going to save my ass. So, I got to make this shot count. Oh, why am I being aggressive with this thing? <laughs> There you are. Hey, buddy. Yep. There it is. You're you're doomed. That's it. You're doomed. Oh, uh, no, you're not doomed. Damn. You know, I kind of deserve that. It's all right. We got 15 backups, so I'll bring out another. Huh? What the? <laughs> I just spawned in. And I was just thinking, was I the bait for that previous guy? I mean, they send in that little, what, uh, M46 or something? I, mean, I, I forget what it was, to be honest, or M26. And I'm the... Or he's the bait? I don't know, maybe. Maybe. So something interesting happened to the community again. Now, you guys know a couple of months ago, right? We've been having some, I guess, leaked classified information, right? <laughs> Somebody did it again. <laughs> they released... Information on the shell type, uh, the, the ZTZ-99, uh, apparently has. Yeah, they, ooh. Yep, 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 I see you. There we go, right here. Come on. Oh, he intercepted it, you son of a bitch. It's all right. But yeah, dude, someone released information on the 99's shell. <laughs> it's classified. And they released it. Oh, it's funny. There we go. Gotcha. Yeah, swing the missile up a little bit. <clears throat> And uh, you can avoid that anyways. Does he have a friend? He's got a friend. Hold up. I see something right there, and I don't know if that's it or not. Oh, it was it. Whoa. <laughs> there can only be one. He's got a friend, apparently. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Don't hit the tree. Come on, come on. Yes, I got his track. This is actually a pretty good spot. I, I didn't even know this was a cool thing for this. I'm going to leave him there for right now. Oh, they got him. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> this is, I don't even know if this is, was a spot, to be honest. I'm going to use this more often. But yeah, like, dude, I know if you guys want to win an argument, cool, but don't use classified shit for War Thunder. You'll get us in trouble. You'll get War Thunder in trouble. You'll get yourself in trouble. <laughs> Anyways, back on to uh, the Carnage. Oh, more. Oh, no, this is their spot. I'll be honest, I didn't even uh, I didn't even look at the map to see what that was, but hey, you know what? An opportunity has arisen and got him. All right, <laughs> let's get the hell out of here. I thought this was the uh, the triple cap point, not the uh, A and the B, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, that scared the hell out of me. It's okay. We have 14 more backups. Let's bring it out. Oh, 
there you are. Gotcha. Payback. That wasn't supposed to be the entirety of that jump, but you know what? I'll, I'll take it. Oh, speaking of which, there's a... Uh, or it'll be right here. Come on. Oh, he's got Yorei, though. Not that it matters. Avoided it entirely. Nice. But is it Yorei? I think probably could have stopped this. Maybe. You know, I'm not a fan of this gameplay. I really am not. It's just... It, it kind of goes against my entire being as a, as a player in War Thunder. You guys know me. I like to be very aggressive. I like to get up to the fight, get up to the front, and just, you know, do my thing. But when it comes to this type of vehicle, it doesn't serve any good purpose to be unnecessarily aggressive especially seeing that your firepower it's good right Oop, there's one right there it's good it'll get the job done but it's just oh i could throw a missile and probably hit him but didn't know if that was gonna be a clearing or not he might get this way which i'll have enough of a clearing but it's i don't know man i don't mind being patient but this it's fun it's satisfying it just feels unnatural to me you know This one right there. It is one. Gotcha. Hey, I avoided his ERA too. I'll take the one taps. Don't get me wrong. I, I'm, in, I'm enjoying this. This feels weird. Tank front though. Hostile. Oh yeah, I hear you. Shit. We got a lot of hate in front of me. Our, uh, our team isn't doing so hot. Neither are they, but they're doing much better than us. I do hear a... Uh, sounds like a wheeled vehicle. Okay. That could have been worse. I still hear something in front of me, I think. And apparently, something behind me. I... Yep, there you are. Gotcha. Come on, 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 come on! Whew. This is working. I don't know how or why it is, but it is! I got one guy to my right. I hear him. I'll be honest, I'm terrified right now. I really am. I, <laughs> my entire team is pretty much gone. And I don't really know what to do. I'm not going to attack the point. <laughs> it's kind of suicide if I do that. But I think what I'll end up doing instead is I'm just going to tank hunt like this guy. Worth it. <laughs> if I can get a nuke in this thing, I will be so happy. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, you see someone behind me. Dude, did you get him? No, you didn't get him. How did I not see or hear that guy behind me? He's right there. There he is. Yeah, I didn't see him. Gotcha. Loader track, cannon breach. All right, there's not a whole lot he can do to me, so. Sorry, buddy. And he jayed out. Hey, thanks for saving me the ammo, bud. I gotta run now. I can't stay here. Oh. Oh, oh. How the shit? Oh, gotcha. Holy crap. <laughs> I think we're going to get a nuke, man. I don't know. We'll see. Whoa. Son of a bitch. Finally, someone found me. All right. This thing does not have a commander gunner. That's all right. I think if I get this one guy, if I can just outplay him a little bit, I should be able to get what I want. Question is... Where the hell is he? Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Yes! Got his gunner? I don't know if he has a commander gunner. I don't know. We're going to find out shortly. I, I can't identify what that is. Uh, T95V1, I think. Come on. Okay. Got your pipe. Buddy. Oh, I was going to say you're my nuke, but I lost it. No! <laughs> Yeah, that was a heartbreaking game. I ended up getting a nuke, but I think they caught on very quickly because it was about three or four A4s that ganked me within a kilometer of me taking off from that airfield. Yeah, so I wasn't able to drop it. But you know what? 13 damn kills with this thing in that type of map. Th that's nuts, isn't it? <laughs> I'm proud of myself for it. But anyways, let's do uh, maybe the same thing here. I've got one... Uh, pretty close there we go gotcha you know the beauty about this missile over pressure but somebody in the comment section for uh the post i made about this said this tank has the most beautiful flight model i think it is for the missile and you know what i agree with that it looks really good when it flies just saying speaking of which i think we got a couple more guys right over here 
I'm, I'm kind of uh, worried about my front. Come on, come on. Right here, right here, right here. There you go. Beautiful. Thank you for... Really? M24? Oh! Uh, nope. 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 Hey, buddy. Thanks. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I, how did I not see him? He's perched up. All right. Oh! Yeah, that's not good. Um... Oh, this reverse beat sucks. Come on, come on. Ah, got you back. <laughs> That's all right. I got 13 more backups. Let's bring another out. So you want to know what uh, the reverse side of Russian bias looks like? This is what it looks like. They get three extra players. They get, a, they get an extra nation. Two extra nations, excuse me. And extra players. Oof. If we won this game, or if we can win this game, I would be deeply surprised. Yeah, but you know what? I'll make it count because that's just me. Oh, I was wondering like what that head was. Uh, give me a boop, please. Boop. Hmm, not the shot I was looking for, but it is a disabling shot. I got his engine, his turret ring. Now all I have to do is just the uh, the coup de gras, which should be this one, I think. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, a forty. <laughs> I gotta cover that at some point, but I'll be honest. I'm not a huge fan of the OF40 series. They're just, they're just weird to me. There's a uh, WMA that was coming this way. I ran into him. I think it might be the same guy, but in truth, I, I don't know. I don't trust. Oh, there he is. Gotcha. ETO02. It might be the same guy. I'm not gonna check. I'm, I'm playing very cautiously right now, man, because we are not doing so well as a team. Come on, come on, come on, fire. Uh, he sees us, but it's okay. And boop. Beautiful. <laughs> that was a weird shot, wasn't it? The overpressure, I think, is what did him in. Pick him up, right? Gotcha. Oof. I heard him, too. At the very last second, I was like, wait a minute. I heard an engine. Didn't think it was an M18, though. He could have killed me from the side. Yeah, easily. Oh. Is that an M47? Hey, I think he, uh, he definitely sees me. Come on. Okay. Commander Gunner engine, turret ring. He's got his barrel pointed at me. Why does his inside of his barrel look like the same color as, uh, as everything else? Let's just approach him and do this. Really? Isn't it kind of BS, though, that this thing could fire on the move when the Rakit and Yikebans are too hot? Can't? Weird, isn't it? Eh, I'm gonna go for his ammo. Or, I, or not. I'm sorry, guys. I promise I'm not this terrible. I'll go right for his driver now, just to just to end this. And oop. Sorry. <laughs> Another one. Front. 559. 69, excuse me. That dart, even though it's kind of piss poor, it would definitely work. But dude, how are we doing so freaking well in this thing? Then again, this map is kind of suited for us. Huh? Where? Where? Oh, gotcha. Come on, come on, come on. Get him, 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 get him. Yes! I, oh, no, that was a bad shot. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm just sitting here dying. Oh, man. Oh, dude, you're amazing. You are brilliant. Come on, shoot. Oh, no. I was like, shoot down the tree so I can get him. Oh, man. But you know what? Nine kills, though? That ain't bad. All right, let's get the hell out of here. So here's the uh, the funny part, right? I went into this expecting, man, I'm gonna get maybe three or four kills a game, right? And that, that'd be that. But no, it turns out we're double acing pretty much every game except for the first one. And I can't do anything with that guy because he's covered by a broken wall. He can hit me, I can't hit him. I don't know what I'm gonna do now, but um, I'll just be dumb, I guess. <laughs> oh, he's coming this way. And get rid of fire. I, there he is. Hey, buddy. I think he sees me. Gotcha. Woo. <laughs> Thankfully, his engine's in the front. I have plenty of time to react to him. Beautiful. All right. Let's, uh, let's get the A point, I think, and keep going. Oh. What's this? It's going to blow up is what it is. Boop. <laughs> oh, no overpressure that's what i love about this vehicle man the overpressure on it is pretty nuts if you didn't know the uh most missiles fired from the russians 
do the exact same thing. They love to overpressure. Go play the Chrysanthemma. It's pretty stupid. But anyways, let's continue being an idiot with this thing and just be aggressive, yeah? Oh. I thought that was a friendly. It's Sheridan. I think these vehicles came out around the same time, didn't they? Pretty sure they did. I think it was the exact same update, too. All right. I thought that was a friendly shooting that way. But you know what? I'll make it count. And on goes the uh, whole W gang. Look at that. We're just tearing this enemy team a brand new one. And no thanks to me either. I'm just sitting here with three kills, man. I'm not the one who's carrying this team. At least not this time. But there's a dude up here. A missile carrier. I'm a little worried about him. Hmm. Where are you? Oh. There you are. My arch nemesis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this game's over. No, seriously. Hold, brought to you by the Hold W Gang. That is Russia. Oh. An another missile carrier? By the way, I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, no. He's in their spawn zone. Blah, blah, blah. Dude, this game is over. If you didn't know, this game is... Oh, I'm dead. Uh, this game is completely over. <laughs> so, you know what? I'll tell you what. I'll take my four kills and let's switch things up a little bit. Well, I was going to take out a, uh, a different vehicle for you guys, but the game ended right around the time we spawned in, and so there wasn't really much content outside of what you saw previously. But I got to tell you guys, the IT-1 is dumb, and in the funny sense, too. This thing is great. The overpressure mechanic makes this thing absolutely brilliant. The amount of firepower it has, 15 missiles. They travel pretty damn quick. They're very accurate. And it makes for an exciting time and to make things even better, this thing can always fire on the move. It makes it or it puts it in a class all of its own because of that. It acts like an MBT as opposed to an anti-tank, tank destroyer, missile carrier, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, anti-tank missile carrier. Same thing, but it acts like an MBT and that stabilizer is nuts. The optics are kind of iffy. The hold down positions in this thing, or at least you can have in this thing, is brilliant. So yes, I would recommend it as your 8.3. And why not? I mean, you have the T10M, right? You have the Sturm, the T55A, 62, the i7 if you if you've got it, the MiG-15 bis ish, the BMP2, and uh, the Object 120. Assuming you have that as well, it makes for a wonderful lineup. Oh, and to add to the the trouble. Oddballs also made a video on this recently, which I just found out because YouTube notifications suck. So if you guys want to go ahead and catch some more content from an amazing creator, I mean, honestly, if you don't know who he is, you've been living under a damn rock. Okay, just saying. <laughs> All right, go check out that video too after you check out this one or vice versa, whatever you want to do. And trust me, you won't be disappointed. So with all that being said, yes, the IT-1 gets my approval. Get it, play it, have fun with it. Don't be too crazy about it. Be smart. That's the biggest thing. You have to put yourself in a good position or be insanely lucky like I was and you can be sort of aggressive with it. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, we got a nuke with this, but I'm sad we weren't able to drop it. But anyways, uh, last and uh, again, that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for checking this out. If you guys want to support the channel in any way, my Patreon is open, some more behind the scenes stuff. My 3% discount link is also down there. You get my in-game decal, you get 3% off your order, and uh, that 3% goes right to me and supports me directly as a creator, which is awesome, and I love it. You guys are awesome for doing this for me. <laughs> but anyways, I'm sorry. I know I keep saying that. I'll see you guys not only in the next video or even the streams, which you should definitely check out, guys. I do play this thing quite a bit on there, but in War Thunder itself. But maybe not at 8.3. We'll see. Until next time.